guys this is the box for, of the new motherboard I am unboxing today it is a MSI board x58a GD65 I'm doing an upgrade on my computer my main gaming computer and it's got it's been doing me great service for about maybe three years now so it's time for an upgrade now I know every at the moment it's going with the Sandy Bridge craze which never really appealed to me so uh, basically I didn't like the PCI Express uh, settings on it they were by eight, by 8 in both lanes and uh, everybody knows that the X58s are all by 16 anyway so this is the uh, top end view as you can see I'll give you a quick look military class uh, components mm -hmm. but I would have thought the military used the same components as everybody else but uh, maybe I'm wrong Have a quick look at the sides Doo -doo -doo. Uh, no uh, I don't know why these don't come with a sealant sticker on them you know, you know they usually have a plastic sticker on them I like them on it because then it shows you haven't opened it, but I rest assured this has, box hasn't been opened. Let me give you a quick look at the back. So a quick overview and we'll zoom in. Basically, basically the same as the front really. I'll have a quick look at the specifications if I can. Might be a bit hard getting the focus, sorry about that folks. Boom, 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 boom. So a quick look inside. Just a load of addresses. Do do do. Pass the back again. Now we're gonna give you a quick cut straight into my gaming PC and show you the PC it's going into. As I said, it's going to be an upgrade. The P As I said, this P the PC you're going to see now in a second is a uh, Core 940 in it. Now I do have a, a more powerful Core i7, but it's not in that computer. And that computer is kind of hooked up to my 30 inch monitor. So it's my most powerful computer. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to cut this, that shot of my upgrade computer that this is going into right now. Hi guys, this is the PC that I'm going to be upgrading. As you see, you can see it's probably the most powerful one. As you can see, there is two 580s, obviously an SLI. Uh, if it doesn't know if you make the RAM chips out there, but there are uh, six of them, two gigabytes each, so twelve gigabyte of RAM. That is a Core i7-940 so while it's not the most powerful Core i7 chip I have I think this whole combination is kind of sweet and it just runs perfectly and runs everything I need and as you see it's hooked up to my 30 inch Dell monitor so this is the system that I'm going to be upgrading it's probably my favorite system so it's a bit of a nervous upgrade for me because I don't want to upset it but time move, marches on as the saying goes and this motherboard that's on this machine will be replacing my Core 2 Duo uh, uh, machine which is there so that machine which is Core 2 Duo it's Core 2 Extreme in it that's going to be replaced by this Core i7 and this core is obviously getting a new Core i7 which I will reveal in another video 
It's just you can see the specs of this. Do, 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 do. And this actually machine runs Vista, but you know, it's so powerful. You never, I never had any problems with it. Okay, now back to my unboxing. Okay, guys, how are you? Now we're going to do the unboxing. Okay, so I will kind of raise the box up a little bit, put an angle, and let's open her up here. Uh, still caught here, so. Here we go. Ta-da! And what have we got? Is it? Okay. A quick guide. As you can see, sorry about that. Seems to be a big glossy brochure. So let me just open it up. Give, give, me, give you a quick view. Okay, the BIOS setup. That's what that says. Uh, if you open up wide, whoa, very stylish, big motherboard. Let me just bring it down. Everything labeled. I think every motherboard should come with one of these. Excellent stuff. I know you know where most of them, most of these things are already, but a lot of people wouldn't. So that's terrific. I think that was a very good start. I like that. Now, that's a nice touch. So there you go. There we have doo -doo, driver CD and Norton's on it. I don't know what, who would put Norton's on anything, but anyway, uh, HDD backup. I don't know what that means now. Hmm. Must be some sort of utility somewhere. Here we have a quick start guide. Another leaflet. Let me just see. So, let me just show you, I don't know if you can see, gives you all the basics, here's your pins for your uh, case connections and stuff, and there's your power connector, CPU connector, very nice. Your IO shield, try and get it the right way. Nothing unusual or or strange about it. Okay. Standard box standard. We have SLI bridge. We have doo -doo -doo. Uh, power connector and looks like to SATA cables, I think. Unusual color, white and black. And we have two more SATA cables and another Molex power connector. Oh yes, now I love these. I absolutely love these. These are your little uh, motherboard connectors for easy installation of all the case wires. I absolutely think these are the dog's bollocks. These are excellent choice for MSI to do. Give these. Love them. I'll just give you a quick show. Love these, love these, love these. Can't say it enough. And... Let me see. We have two. Hmm. I beg your pardon, that's a crossfire bridge. That is a an SLI bridge. Wow, so crossfire in a motherboard. This is, must be for when you put more than one video card. You can take three video cards. This particular motherboard has got three uh, uh, three connectors on it. Or PCI Express slots. So obviously, if your, car, if you, your video cards We'll have one, and this is a spare one, and this is the, your SLI bridge. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Uh, here is just a leaflet. Boom, boom. SP diff connector, I think. Uh, don't use it, so don't worry, no worries. We have 
the full manual. Black and white, multilingual, so it's probably brief enough. But as you can see, do do do. So there you go, bog standard. Now, here's the start of the show. Let's see if we can get her out. Oh, oh. just a core. Pick it up. Right here is the motherboard. Okay, let's go for it. Whoa. Now, there she is. Don't know which is technically the right way to hold it up, but anyway. This is the way the stickers are going, so let's take her out of the bag. Okay, put a tape here, so bear with me. Right, pick up. Whoa! So there she is. Very beautiful looking board, if I do say so myself. Let me just bring it back. Very attractive, very attractive. Okay, so here we have our RAM slots. Of course, triple channel, no problem at all. There, here are our uh, PCI Express ports. You'll notice it has three of them, so you can go three three way SLI or three way crossfire, I think, which is excellent, excellent news. Okay. Oh, it's hard to judge this now, so bear with me. There's an ECOC switch somewhere along here. Oh yes, look, there's a little switch on the motherboard. See the red one there? So I'll have to have a play with this later on. Read the manual for that now, folks. See that there? I don't know if you're picking it up. Easy overclock switch. I just give you a look at the input outputs. Do -do. So there we go. Sorry. Do -do. So there we go. We also have a reset and an on switch for you overclocking nuts. This is not something I really have ever gone into. Uh, basically, because I'm a bit paranoid about breaking stuff. So. So there we go, there we have a super board. As you can say, this board features uh, three PCI Express slots. It's also got SATA 3, uh, I think. I think that there they are differentiated there. Let me just have a quick read. And plenty of fan sockets here. Dun, dun. So there we go. Uh, excellent board, very attractive. Like the dark colours. Very, very, very attractive. Okay, so that's the unboxing of my new X58 motherboard. And as I said, yes, I know IUV Bridge is coming out at the end of the year, but uh, you know, if you keep putting off upgrading, You'll never upgrade to anything. And I know a bulldozer is coming out as well with eight cores, so that sounds particularly interesting. So that'll probably be my next game. Anyway, so as it stands, I have enough horsepower to play any game at the moment. So this upgrade is just purely for your sake of upgrading as, uh, as opposed to I actually need to do anything. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And stay tuned because I'm going to show you the processor within the next week or so. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Bye.